Hola mi gente, what is up? What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angel Altieri, if this is your first time here. And welcome to the video, very special video today. Brand new setting for my channel. I'm in my kitchen because we are making coquita. How fun is that? We're making good old Puerto Rican coquito. Everything is here and i'm excited i wanted this video out a little earlier because you know christmas is ahora mismo you know what i'm saying so hopefully i can film this video today and get it out to you tomorrow the 21st and you can skedaddle to the supermarket and get what you need uh, yeah i'll go through the ingredients the things you need to make it to store it uh yeah every cookie though is pretty much different depending on your household your family i've seen a lot of videos people use different ingredients they they make it differently uh spoiler alert i do not use eggs so you do not have to cook this cookie though for this recipe and yeah if you're puerto rican your family makes co coquito you make coquito um don't come here to judge because I know that's what you're probably trying to do. I know. I know. I hear you. I feel you. Um, but don't. Let's be nice. Let's enjoy. And if you're interested in how I make Puerto Rican coquito, which is basically like Puerto Rican eggnog, then you know the deal, you know the drill, and you know the vibes. Let's get it. Okay, I'm hunching over a lot because, you know, I'm pretty tall, pretty tall compared to you know, where I'm at. Uh, let's go over what you need first, like to actually make it, not the ingredients themselves. You need a blender. I blend my coquito, it just makes it easier. You could use, if you're super Puerto Rican, you can use a large bowl and a whisk to whisk everything together. There's no cooking, like I said, there's no eggs, so you do not have to cook this coquito. I actually don't know a recipe or how to cook it, so there's that. You need a can opener, and you need something to store the coquito. You could leave it in the blender. I don't know if you could leave it in the bowl. I'm not too sure about that. I do use a bottle like this. It's shrieky from me just washing it struggling to wash it actually i got this from the 99 cent store it's just a simple bottle i can't tell you exactly right now how many ounces it holds but we'll figure that out once i start blending if you're super puerto rican this is the bottle for you this doesn't hold as much as that so i don't really use this and we'll keep it there for the cultura you know what i'm saying I have a spoon to help me. Later on, let's go over the ingredients, okay? Let's just get into it. We have the star of the show, the alcohol. You could make this virgin and leave it at that. When I was growing up, I never really had coquito because, you know, I was a child and no one made it virgin, but I'm 23 now. <laughs> we get lit. I'm using Bacardi, of course, because she's Puerto Rican, so you're not using Bacardi. That's unfortunate. I use dark because that's just my preference, and a lot of people typically use whites. That just tastes a little too alcoholy to me. This adds a little depth to the coquito and doesn't taste as strong of like an alcohol, alcohol flavor. You can use any alcohol you like, like a cognac, a Hennessy, I don't know, maybe a bourbon, a whiskey, I don't know. You can experiment and figure that out for yourself. I have a pint of this with me today, and I will be using this whole thing. <laughs> How exciting. I have ground cinnamon, which I hope there's enough in there. I have ground nutmeg, which makes this a little bit more eggnoggy. I don't know why we have this, but we do, so I use it. Why not? Vanilla extract, vanilla 
Okay. We have carnation milk, well, evaporated milk, and the brand I use is typically carnation. We have condensed milk, Magnolia is the preferred brand of choice. One can of each for those, and do not hate me, do not hate me, don't scream at me, please do not drag me. I don't have Coco Lope, okay, that's the preferred cream of coconut, but I do live in an area of mostly white people. So, it's hard for me to find Coco Lope over here. And you know, I was on a time crunch, but I do have Goya cream of coconut, coconut cream. I have two cans of these today. We'll get into more about that later. And we have cinnamon sticks. And I'm pretty sure those are all the ingredients. So we can get started. Why not? Okay, here I am. I I got measuring spoons because I know some people like measurements. But I am Puerto Rican and we, we wing it most of the time. We just do whatever feels right. But I did bring measuring spoons to like get an estimate of some measurements for certain things. So let's get started. I'm going to start off pouring in the condensed milk. It's thicker. And if you put this in last, then it makes a mess. It splatters everywhere. So let's pour this in. I have a hair clip on me. This is when I use my spoon because this is super thick. See how thick that is? And I want to make sure I get everything out of the can. Okay, there goes all of the condensed milk. Now I'm going in with the cream of coconut because it's also a little bit thicker. Um, with this, I do one and a half cans. You could do less or more depending on how sweet you want it. And the sweeter you do it, you know, the less strong it'll taste because you have more stuff overpowering the, the rum. But I like it sweet, not too sweet, because not everyone in my family likes it too sweet. Um, and not everyone in my family likes it too strong, so I don't just leave it at the one can. I feel like it's strong, do the one can. I feel like it's sweet. Do the two, or do a mix and taste along the way to see how you like it. So let's do this can of coconut. So there was one can, and I'll be adding in half of this can. I'll save the rest of that one for another coquito at some point. Now I'm going to add in the evaporated milk, which I did shake up before. I opened. Okay, now comes the part that you measure. I'm not too sure how much we're measuring, but let's start with the vanilla. This is McCormick, don't at me. I'm going to use a half teaspoon of vanilla yep half a teaspoon maybe even a quarter teaspoon would have sufficed a splash no whatever you're feeling now i'm going to add in the ground cinnamon and you really want just the taste of cinnamon it's Coquito, that's why we use ground cinnamon and cinnamon sticks. You want this flavor to really pop out. You can add more or add less depending on, you know, your preference for cinnamon. But I like it. So let's see what a teaspoon looks like. Yeah, a teaspoon. 
teaspoon is good. That was good. Then I'm going to add in the ground nutmeg. I'm only doing a quarter teaspoon of ground nutmeg. I don't know how Puerto Rican nutmeg is, but we're doing it. Finally, in the blender goes the good stuff. Oh yeah, baby. Let's open this up. And again, I'm using this whole thing. Sheesh. And right now my blender is nearly seven cups full. Just so you know, so nearly 56 ounces. It's about six and three quarter cups. All right, folks, tis the time to blend. And I'm just doing this on low. No, sorry, mommy. And Dawn says, this is the moment you try it. I'm thinking another spoon. I'm going to try it. It's not morning, so don't, you know, judge me. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So this is done. Essentially, I'm going to secure the top. All right, I have my bottle. And before I pour in the mixture, I'm going to add in cinnamon sticks. You could skip this step. You could add however many you like. I'm gonna add about that much. And when you let it sit like that, adds the extra cinnamon flavor. It's nice, it's a nice touch, you know. Now let's, she's happy. Let's pour this in and hope that, you know, this bottle fits all of it. Just enough. It just fit. Um, now I would put this in the fridge. And I typically make cookies either the morning of or the day before because you just want to let it sit. It's a typically served cold drink. Uh, yeah. And every time you take it out, you want to shake it up. Make sure any cinnamon doesn't settle to the bottom. It's all mixed in. Yeah, shall I try it? Let me try it. How about that? If you've ever had flan, Puerto Rican flan, or you make flan, um, very similar flavor profile. Like, and very, I mean, they're basically made out of the same things. Just, you know, alcohol. So, here's my coquito, and you know, you could garnish it. Mira que linda. Ay, ay, ay. You see that? Oh, she's so cute. All right, so took a lot of pictures. Let's try it. Why not? You know, and how cute my gonna rice. I taste it. It's not too strong. You could taste the rum, but it's not too strong. And it goes away easily. I feel like the white, you could really feel it in your chest for a while, but not the dark. All right. Yum. I love that so much. So, 
that's it. <laughs> that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you enjoy your coquito for Christmas. I'm Puerto Rican. We, we celebrate Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. So, you know, make two bottles. If you have a big family, make a few because it'll go. Uh, I made this now on Monday, December 9th, 20th. And I'll be celebrating in my home Christmas Day. So I'm confident in the last five days in my fridge. There's no egg in here, so nothing should spoil, go weird, go wrong. And it's securely tightened into this bottle, so I'm sure it'll last a few days. But once it's Christmas Day and people start drinking it, it usually is finished by the end of the day. And if it's not, I usually can, like, drink it within the week if it's just you know like me drinking it it lasts a while it lasts a while so yeah you could pre-make it and let it sit that's it so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoy your holiday drink your puerto rican eggnog and if you do make this recipe let me know how it came out in the comments down below how people like it i took this to my cousin's like 22nd birthday party People were feeling it. People were feeling it. And yeah, that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button down below. Comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification. If you're feeling for real, I post all the time. If you like me and you like this video, share it to a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram, Twitter. I like all my social media down below, I think. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next one. Bye.